and welcome to another Minute Microscopy. I am Casey Rochford. Please like and share and subscribe to the channel. And today I would like to talk about uh, knee-jerk reactions to uh, threats on the internet or text message, whatever. I, really, we need to talk about our mode of threat assessment. See, we have been conditioned to think, oh, if somebody says, oh, gee, I'm so mad I could just kill that person. Whoa. Oh my God, we must act swiftly and with extreme prejudice and swat them down immediately. There's a lot of problems with that. First of all, you should be looking for patterns of behavior and not idle bravado thrown around on the internet or in the heat of the moment in a text message or something. Yes, those things are written and preserved until the end of time, which is unfortunate. And that's probably why we've gotten where we are now. <sighs> the problem with that sort of knee jerk response is that you're forgetting that we all say shit when we're mad, you know, we're venting, we're letting off steam. That's just how it goes. Real people that actually want to hurt somebody. Most attackers know that threats are an early warning sign. They're going to lose the element of surprise. Like, this isn't Batman. You know, the, the villains of the world aren't really trying to leave clues for people to try to stop them as some kind of challenge to law enforcement. I mean, get real. <laughs> if you actually wanted to hurt somebody you would hope that you could do it without getting caught. Why the hell would you go blathering on about how you want to hurt somebody? Doesn't make sense. Does it happen every so often? Yeah. Are those the only ones we hear about? You, you bet, bet your ass. ass. And that's why we all think, oh, threats often equal actual violence. Nope. Nope. Threats that are caused and I, I say threats with air quotes because I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to belittle threats. I'm trying to uh, define threat as a noun, like a person who is a threat. Threats that are caught beforehand are usually reported by somebody else as observed patterns of behavior. Oh, I saw these people whispering to each other and shooting daggers with their eyes at such and such person and I'm concerned or I overheard them talking about constructing something to hurt people with I mean take lists for example you could have a list of names but you don't know what it's for what you really should be concerned about are I don't know drawings of violence I mean even then it could just be a macabre sense of art appreciation. I mean, honestly, I used to draw all kinds of stuff like that just because I happened to have a red pen that leaked and I could bring it and it would look like blood splatter. And I thought, oh, that would be funny to like draw a picture and have some realistic looking blood splatter go with it. It was art. Uh, whatever it is, it's usually somebody who saw something and said something not to uh <laughs> use a, a saying that homeland security came up with um bottom line if you don't leave a safe environment for letting off steam uh, what good do you expect to come of that you do know what happens when pressure builds in a pressure cooker right you have to let that off otherwise you're creating the exact conditions that cultivate the dangerous acts of violence. You're thinking that you're stopping. Leave your thoughts in the comments.